10 mysterious places that need to be explained. When we think of all the strange things featured on other planets that we can't explain, it's tempting to think that we could figure everything out if we could just get there and examine them up close. Yet there are plenty of pieces of Earth's own geological history that we can touch but still don't understand. Maybe we haven't advanced as much as we think we have because humans for centuries have been trying to solve Earth's mysteries but some are just too difficult to find an answer for. Number 10. Mount Baldy Sinkholes At 37 meters or 123 feet, Mount Baldy is the tallest sand dune on the southern edge of Lake Michigan. Indiana advertises the tourist attraction as living because it moves a meter or two every year. But that's no mystery. It's caused by the wind. No, it's the dune's ability to swallow children that puzzles scientists. In July 2013, six-year-old Nathan Wassener was buried when a three-meter hole suddenly formed beneath him. It took three hours to dig him out, thankfully alive. The next month, a second hole appeared. Deep air pockets aren't supposed to be able to form in sand dunes because the sand should immediately fill any gaps. We're seeing what appears to be a new geological phenomenon, said geologist Aaron Arculin, who is leading an investigation and was working nearby the day that Nathan was swallowed. The dune may cover trees, which rot away to create the holes. The dune was once mined to use the sand and glass making, so the phenomenon may be caused by humans. In the meantime, the dune is very much closed to the public until someone can figure out what's going on there. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for all of you that'll just take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And boom, 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number nine, the Eye of the Sahara. The Rikot structure, or the Eye of the Sahara, is a 50 kilometer wide circular feature in the world's hottest desert. It's made of concentric circles in various shades of blue and is best seen from space. For a long time, it was thought to be an impact crater, but recent research suggests that it's almost certainly not the case. The heat and pressure of a meteor strike leaves behind telltale compounds, including a form of silicon dioxide called cosite, of which the eye has none. Some people have noted a resemblance to Plato's description of Atlantis and suggest the mythical city may have had its home there. Even if Atlanteans had lived there, evidence suggests that the structure formed nearly 100 million years ago, so it's likely they didn't build it. Another possibility is that the Rikot structure is the top of a volcano, but it's not the bulge dome shape we'd expect to find. The current leading theory about the feature is that it was eroded into place over a long period of time. That covers what's on the ground, but it leaves the circular shape an utter mystery. Number 8. Desert Varnish Desert rocks are often coated with a thin substance that ranges in color from light orange to black. Ancient people all over the world would make petroglyphs by scraping the varnish away. Yet, despite its widespread existence across the globe, desert varnish's formation remains unexplained. The varnish is made mostly of clay. Around a third consists of iron and manganese, which provide both the color and the mystery. Magnes is a particular that may be 50 times more concentrated in varnish than in the surrounding landscape. Some researchers believe that the substance leaches from the rock or is caused by dust falling from the sky because there's too much silica for a biological explanation. Others believe that the iron and magnes demand life. A recent suggestion to reconcile the problems is that the varnish may be produced by microorganisms with a completely alien type biochemistry. This shadow biosphere could have been from a different origin of life than the common ancestor of every species we currently know, possibly one based on silicone rather than carbon. Number 7. Uturunku Uturunku, a 6,000 meter volcano in southwest Bolivia, last erupted 300,000 years ago. Satellite observations from the last 20 years have found the volcano's underground chamber filling up 10 times faster than similar volcanic systems. It's growing by a cubic meter of magma per second. The result is that the land around the volcano, in an area 43 miles across, is ballooning upward by a couple of centimeters every year. The first unanswered question is how long the inflation has been going on. Geomorphologists have studied nearby terrain and it looks to be a relatively recent phenomenon. But there's a lot of detective work left. The other mystery is what Uturunko will do in the future. 
Oregon State University's Sean Da Silva, who's been studying the volcano since 2006, thinks that it could be a potential supervolcano. 300,000 years is about the average wait time between eruptions in southwest Bolivia, and Uturanku looks like it's getting ready to do something. But when? Nobody knows. Number 6. The Permian Extinction the most intense extinction in Earth's history was the end Permian mass extinction, when an estimated 93 to 97% of the species on the planet were wiped out. But the actual cause of the extinction is one of the biggest debates in paleontology. Meteorites are an obvious suspect. A possible impact crater in Antarctica has been suspected, but in general, the evidence for a collision is weak. Volcanoes are also a popular suggestion, the most likely candidates being the Siberian Traps, which formed around that time. Scientists studying the extinction in Canada suggest volcanism set alight vast swaths of coal, causing a runaway greenhouse effect. But even without the coal fire, the volcanoes could have spewed sulfate into the air, blocking out the sun and creating torrents of acid rain. Alternatively, volcanism could have played a more subtle role. A team of MIT researchers have pointed the blame at a microbe named Methanosarcina. These single-tailed archaea produce methane and thrive on nickel and carbon dioxide, both of which were abundant due to volcanoes. Methane is 30 times more potent than carbon dioxide as a greenhouse gas, and could have caused devastating warming of the planet. Number 5. Lake Hillier Lake Hillier is not the only pink lake in the world, but it's definitely the least understood. It was discovered in 1802 in a pristine area of Australia's wilderness. To protect wildlife around the lake, it's currently only possible to view it from the air, and this isolation has left it unstudied. The bubblegum pink lake is safe to swim in, though it's extremely salty. There are three likely causes for the color, based on what we know of other pink lakes around the world. Pink Lake in Western Australia's color is caused by a combination of shrimp and microorganisms. There may be actual bacteria or archaea such as the misnamed hollow bacteria living in Hillier's saltier crusts. But possibly, Hillier's color may not require life at all, but could be due to chemical reactions. The salt in the lake could react with dissolved baking soda, or there could be some other unique composition of rock surrounding the lake. However, one option that's definitely ruled out is an optical illusion, as the lake's water stays pink even when it's placed in a bottle. Number 4. The Formation of Hawaii The Hawaiian island chain is one of many to a belief have been formed by a hot spot. These are regions where magma rises to the surface and produces rows of volcanic islands, with an active volcano usually located in the youngest of them. The cause of these hotspots is one of geology's biggest mysteries. The leading theory is a plume of hot magma rises from as far down as the border between Earth's mantle and inner core, 1,800 miles deep. In 2011, an MIT team published a study suggesting a thermal anomaly 450 miles west of Hawaii was a more likely candidate and may have been only 500 miles below the surface. This trapped pool of molten material then traveled across the top of the mantle before rising through the crust. Number 3. The Grand Canyon's Age The Grand Canyon is one of the most famous geological formations on Earth. It's also one of the most studied. Despite that, there's no consensus on how old the canyon is, and the quibble's not over just a few years. Scientists on one side are pushing an angle of around 6 million years, and on the other side, they're saying 70 million. The two camps disagree about whether the canyon was carved by the Colorado River or whether it was already there and the Colorado River simply routed its way through. Authors continue to publish papers supporting each hypothesis without making much progress. Number 2. Low-Angled Normal Faults A fault is a crack in the Earth's surface, and the sides of the fault can move against each other in any direction. Normal faults that have a shallow slope less than 30 degrees from the horizontal are low-angle normal faults, or LANFs. And LANFs are a problem because they shouldn't exist. Our models say that if they form, they should seize up and turn into steeper faults. So, they've been called the greatest paradox of tectonics. LANF should lock because the friction between the two sides should stop them from moving and cause an earthquake. Yet, LANFs have never been confirmed to cause earthquakes, and it looks like they might not do so. That makes them the only known class of faults to move slowly by a gradual creep. 
This means that there are significant holes in some important geological models. Alternatively, our lab measurements of fracture and friction simply don't translate to the real world in the way we think they do. So before we reveal our top pick, we'd like to thank Kristen Halam from England for sending in the thumbnail for today's video. And without further ado, here's today's top pick. Number 1. Mycenaean Salinity Crisis Around 6 million years ago, the Mediterranean Sea turned into a desert. It stayed that way for around 630,000 years, during an era known as the Mycenaean Salinity Crisis. Scientists agree that it was almost certainly because the sea became blocked from the Arctic. The mystery is why, and there's no shortage of theories. One idea is that an expansion of the polar ice caps lowered sea levels and created a shallow piece of land to block the ocean's access. Alternatively, tectonic collisions may have raised the seabed near Gibraltar, squeezing together Spain and Morocco to close the strait. A more unusual theory is that the seafloor of the Atlantic Ocean actually peeled up. The resulting flap still attached to the ocean floor at its western end let out lighter rocks from underneath which floated into place to create a giant natural dam across the Gibraltar Strait until the sea flooded again suddenly half a million years later. 